Yes. Now, there was an interview with Yvonne Nelson recently yeah. where she opened up basically about your relationship yeah. with her and um, how it all went down yeah. and how it crumbled, basically. And I know that um, I was one of those who actually didn't believe there was a relationship oh, yeah. because it looked like it was a publicity stunt initially and nobody seems to have seen you guys anywhere together yeah. until that interview. And then you had a response on a radio <laughs> talk show in the UK. Explain all of this to us, first of all. Um, first of all, yeah, let me clarify the fact that the talk show was not for even the, it was Tim Westwood. It was just a freestyle, basically. It was having to do the, the, the only thing is that I was doing a freestyle on your waist, which mm -hmm. is my song. And you see, when you hear your waist, everybody believes that you're saying all you want is the girl's waist. But so of course I was, was just I was just freestyling in that direction. But that song is not complete without the part that says, Yvonne Nelson, I have your mercy. So I just twisted it a little. I said, I lost your mercy. And at the end of the interview, I still said, no, I'm just playing. It's a freestyle. Nothing. Don't take anything personal. But, you know, and then to the relationship, yeah, she, the interview came out. I've not said anything about that for now. And I, I feel like, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not one of those reasons why I'm, I'm on this platform. It's not the reason why, the only relationship I have with people is my music. If I don't give you good music, then crucify me. You know, the whole relationship, I don't really like talking about it, you know why? Because I realize that every time I say something about this whole Von Nelson thing, other branches come out, different things. If so I why not just state it clearly now, so that no more branches Right now, out. all I can see right now is that, you know, I'm, I'm just chilling right now. I'm single, concentrating on my music, and, and that's, that's... What happened? Why did the relationship break up? What, what? happened with it? Why did it end? <laughs> why did she, he, from the interview, she yeah. made it look like you cheated on her, and you were, there were other parties in the relationship. Why did the relationship end? Bro, why did the relationship <laughs> end? It's just like it's just like every other person out there who tries to make something work and it doesn't work. You get me? Everybody, some people, most of the people, ninety percent of the people watching us right now have tried relationships and it has not worked. The reason why theirs is not on the blogs is because they're not popular. Mine is because I'm who I am, so people have to talk about my stuff. It's just like everybody out there. It's just like you trying to work something out and it's not working. We all have relationships. We know we wear the shoe. We know where it hurts. So I can't. I don't think it's fair for me to sit down here and start telling you this happened, that happened, this didn't happen. But was but, there was there a third party? Of course, you know that relationships always crumble because of third, fourth, on your part, parties. Or on her part. I, I don't know whose part now, but you know <laughs> we always have those people there somewhere. You know, so it's just that's just it. Was Tonto DK in the picture? <laughs> No, 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 Tonto was not in the picture. So the relationship didn't break up because of Tonto DK, but did you date Tonto DK at any point? No, I didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't. Tonto is somebody that, you know, I respect and that's how it's been, but like I said, you know, the Nyaya these days, anytime I say something about a girl or something, or I take a picture with her, everybody goes and... So what did you think when you saw that interview that she granted? Well, I just woke up and I saw it, <laughs> and I was just, me and my, my team were like, wow, are you serious? Because this is not, we thought that that phase was, you know, we thought we passed that phase. We thought there was no need to, you know, to tweet or say stuff. We thought it was just something that, I mean, adults, you know, people, things happen like that, and it's, people don't need to hear about it, you know what I'm saying? But I guess the whole mix-up was the fact that after Team Westwood, everybody thought, Team Westwood freestyle was for her, which is completely. I mean, as a matter of fact, we did the freestyle like three, almost a month to her interview, to the date she released the interview. So it's just, it's just a mix up. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you wrote the song for her. I just want to be sure now. I didn't. Re I didn't write because the her name song. Came up a lot in that song. <laughs> no, I didn't write the song for her. <laughs> I didn't write the song for nobody. It was a song for my fans. But I like to do music, you see, my music, yeah, I like my music to just be um, on the, 
on that original side, so I could just shout out someone who has an effect on or And it just so happened that it, it was just, Evan Nelson. You get me? I, 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 you know the funniest thing? Genevieve is on that song. I said Genevieve. I, but, you know, nobody really heard that tone to. But it's just the rhyming I did there that said Evan Nelson. Because that's the only person I, you said you had a medicine <laughs> for. That's why, naturally. <laughs> I mean, you didn't say you had a medicine for Genevieve or Tonto or anybody else. Oh, man. <laughs> People just take these things too personal. We're just doing music man <laughs> do you see her often um yeah well, especially once in a while when i when i especially the last time was when i went to Ghana. yeah what's your relationship with her now yeah man we're cool man we're you're cool. cool yeah bro after the interview you guys still talk oh yeah man what's up how you doing hope you're good yeah i wish you well in your career i'm glad yeah we'll do that yeah okay <laughs> Why are so, you looking at me like you don't believe me? I know, I don't, I'm trying not to believe you, <laughs> no, but yeah. I really can't. Yo, you have to believe me, man. I don't lie, man. My, grandf my grandfather was a reverend, man. I was brought up in that. That's the two generations before you. <laughs> Anything could have happened between them, <laughs> between <laughs> then and now. So, Tonto DK, you said, is out of the picture completely. No, man. Everybody just leave Tonto out of this, man. She's just an uh, amazing person. And, you know, because to the media, people... You see, one thing about... I've realized this. We're in an industry where 90% of the things that you read and the things that you hear are not true. They are just out there. And because we are who we are, and, and when fans love you, they take your they take anything people say about you very personal. But it's just, trust me, most of those things are just hype. They're just things that just bars. But the reality is right there on the corner. It's just right there by the corner. It's just nobody's even talking about. It. The truth is that people don't even want to know the truth these days. They want to read what is on blogs and they believe that so and you can't change that. So you've mentioned Tonto, we've talked about Ivan mm -hmm. Nelson, we've talked about Jenny. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you a very quick question. Now you sure. have to answer. Yeah. You can't, <laughs> you can't not answer. <laughs> okay, now, okay. Ivan Nelson, Tonto DK and Jennifer Naji. Yeah. Who would you dine with? Oh. Who Lord. would you die for? And who would you dust off? Who will I dine with? Who like for? it with? Who would you have uh -huh. dinner with? No, I want you to do the three. The three. Ivan Nelson, said, Tonto, yeah. DK, Genevieve, Naji. Who would you have dinner with? Who would you die for? And who are you going to dust off like? Bro, why are you doing this, <laughs> man? <laughs> man, why are you doing this, man? Should I give you time to think about it? Ah. Okay, we'll go on a very quick break. <laughs> when we'll come back, Yeah, has to answer this question. He can't.